Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great Friday. Well, it's the weekend. So, yeah, already. So, I thought I would start on this one and I'm starting right here on the like by his eye and his nose. And we're using 820, I believe. Let me look. Nope, 720. I'm sorry, 720. Which is kind of a, a burnish orange. So, yeah. Why not? Oh, this is from uh, One Day Saving, by the way. Before I forget. So, what do you have to? Got any plans for the big weekend here? I am telling you, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing going on here, um, for the weekend that is. I uh, have been gone all morning since about 9.30, yeah, I went and I did all the laundry, and then I went to the grocery store, checked the mail on the way through, but it was just too early for all that so yeah fun times fun fun times and I bought stuff to make chicken noodle soup so I got to put that together when I get done here yeah, they didn't have any rotisserie chicken, so I'm cooking my chicken from scratch. Yeah, fun times. I, w I guess I just got to the grocery store too early for them to have any hot food out yet. Uh, I'm telling you. Anything to make it difficult, and there was no shredded chicken sometimes we have shredded chicken where they take the chickens and cut up the the meat off the the breast meat that is off of there so yeah fun times so that's what I'll be having for the next couple of days I suppose But no grand plans after that. Let me move that out of my freeway. Yeah. I stitched a little bit last night. I can't remember what I was working on. Oh, I was working on that red, white, and blue uh, dragon. Just putting another couple threads into it. Just haven't felt like it the past couple of days yesterday was much better than Wednesday was so that's a good thing and it's really kind of nice out there today it's probably going to get in the 80s so it'll be another warm day I ran the air conditioner all day yesterday So, fun times. Sure is a bright orange, isn't it? Holy cow. Didn't watch anything exciting on Netflix. I back on Grey's Anatomy, but I can put it on and just go for broke, you know, and just let it play, because I know what's going on, but, uh, yeah, just haven't had the desire to do too much over the past couple of days. Today, we're better, so maybe we can get some things done today. We'll see.
But I saw this great big area and I thought, well, I might as well just stitch that area, right? Oh my goodness. Because when I do stitch with me, I kind of like to have a bigger area than some of those small areas. And this looked like it would be easy to stitch. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's probably got confetti somewhere, but you know, we'll just work on it. I worked a little bit on that, uh, oh, that sampler thing from, uh, oh, come on, Joy Sunday. But I, it was just too much for my eyes and my brain so that's why I went to the dragon because there's bigger it's an 11 count number one so <laughs> excuse me and there are is uh, you know nice big areas to stitch I didn't want anything too complicated where I had to really try to figure out what the symbol was. Oh, that just drives me batty. So, especially after I've had one of my headaches. So, But we are doing much better. My head doesn't hurt nearly as bad as it did yesterday and the day before. Oh, my goodness. It felt like somebody drove a stake through my eye and my the back of my skull. But we don't feel that way today, so good. Hey! exciting stuff I'm using my little dragon needle minder needle or threader threader I don't know who I got it from I should write these things down but I don't want to write on the back of them because they're so pretty but the next part comes is that I can't remember who I got it from what can I say I even got French bread at the grocery store. They had some fresh French bread, so. No, I got Italian bread, I'm sorry. Italian bread. Either way, it was fresh. So I'll have that with my, my soup tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna make like chicken and noodle soup or if I'm just gonna make it chicken and noodles, you know. And make it real thick, you know. I haven't decided, but that just appealed to me. I made uh, nachos last night. I had extra... Well, I fixed the hamburger like taco meat. And I use it for that time. And then I put the rest of it in the freezer. And so if I want a burrito or whatever... I just get out a little bit of it and nuke it in the microwave. Well, I nuked it in the microwave and made a plate of nachos that was really good and appealing. Of course, I get ready to put that all together because it was just basically a heat up thing, right? Are you ready? Yeah. I thought I had taco sauce and I took that taco sauce out. And it said I opened it in December somewhere. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Because I take a, a Sharpie and write on my uh, salsa and my bacon, as a matter of fact. And, you know, the date that I open it so that I don't get all carried away and it's spoiled already because taco sauce is pretty mean if it gets spoiled. I let it go maybe a week, week and a half. So if I haven't finished it by then, I just throw it out. Taco sauce is not like dressing. But I've heard of people getting poisoned by bad taco sauce. I know, isn't that the bizarre thing? So, yeah. I always write when I open it. Watched a little YouTube, watched some floss tube, this, that, 
the other thing just trying to occupy my brain I guess at one point last night about 6 30 I was really tired so I go in there I lay down I'm like get up get up get up yeah because if you don't you're gonna be up till three o'clock in the morning you won't be able to sleep so I did make it to about 11 something and I was done There's a big area right here. But we'll just keep stitching. Ouch. Oh yeah, I poked my finger so many times with those... What do you call it? The 14 count needles? Oh my gosh. The finger over here, it, it's about done in. And this one's, eh, better than it was. But dang. I don't know why on that damn 14 count I always poke my index finger on my left hand. Just drives me batty. <sighs> so just didn't get a whole bunch of stitching done yesterday. I was hoping I would, but yeah. It just didn't happen. It was another case of, I don't know what I want to stitch on. No, I don't want to start anything new, but I seriously don't have a clue what I'm going to stitch on. And counted was totally out of the question because, yeah, no. It's bad enough when I can see well. Let alone counting threads, so. I picked something easy. Then I get stitching and stitch for a while and I'm just done. So, yeah, that's how my day went yesterday. But we're better today. I got stuff I need to get done. before it gets out of the needle and then I have to mess with that. That out of the way. Yeah, this same pa uh, pattern symbol it goes all the way up over in here somewhere but we'll just we'll just start and keep going on this track not that this one's very small but dang I did want to do some of the flowers but nah we'll start on the tiger So what else is everybody working on? Are you doing any stitching or do you take the summer off or yeah, no, that never happens for me because I can't stand it that long. About the longest I go is about three days without stitching and then I got to stitch. Stitch, diamond paint, one or the other. Just got to be doing some project. Makes you feel like you're working towards some kind of a goal here. But, and some days that works out for me, and some days not so much. <sighs> I 
and sooner or later today I'll have to do the trash because it's getting out of control. Not much going on with the grandkids. I don't think they got anything special going on this weekend. My daughter said she might go, uh, they might go camping, but I'm not real sure. So, we'll see. Yes, I did get invited. No, I, I, I'll pass. No, thank you. But I don't think they'll go until mm, after my son-in-law gets off work tomorrow because he's got to work on Saturday. He's not thrilled. And I believe he works a full day on Saturday, but, you know, heck, I could be wrong. He may only have like a half day on Saturday, so. I don't know, they kind of changed that around since they went from like a regular, let's call it Monday through Friday. Well, they are always had Saturday, but you know what I mean? Monday through Friday schedule. And then I think there was like a half day somewhere, you know, like on Saturday. But then they went to 410, so I don't know what they're doing now. And my daughter said he ordered the part for their uh, swamp cooler because they were all dying of heat. So I don't know when that part will arrive at all. But she said the kids would rather go to Boys and Girls Club so they could be in the air conditioning than be at home in the heat. My daughter, she always liked the heat. In fact, she was two weeks late because she wanted to just stay nice and cozy in there. But she's always been like that. Get up there, Thread. Don't even think about jumping out of that needle. And I like that this is not very big. What is it, a 40 by 50? I can't remember. 40 by 53, so it, that's not too bad at all. So, we'll see. But at least it's skinnier than that one I was working on yesterday. Oh my goodness. I worked on it for a little bit more after the video, but not too much. I got tired of wrestling the material. All right, guys. Whoops, needle. Yeah, I'd like to work on some of those flowers around the edges. So we'll see what happens. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.